Hey fruit faces, it is Clary Berry, and I know that a lot of people, myself included, have been having some holiday drinks, holiday cocktails, holiday shots. I know my family's all about it. And that's probably the main thing. Usually it's a combination of excess fat, excess food in general, and alcohol. All of that just does wonders on our liver. So I wanted to give some little tips on how to help support your liver during um, the holidays and really anytime. Um, one thing that I do is I do have liver supplements, Liver Health Gaia. These are 100% vegan and gluten free. It's basically got milk, thistle, seed extra extract, and turmeric root, some other things I don't know. Ooh, Chinese skullcap root and licorice root which are all really good. Another thing you can do is eat dandelion greens or take dandelion green tea, um, any kind of nettle, licorice root tea. There's actually detox tea that I also have that you can use. And of course, just eating healthy, eating lots of veggies and fruits. You wanna get all your antioxidants. If you don't have those antioxidants, you're not gonna be able to get those free radicals out of your system nearly as good, and it's not gonna help your liver either. So one thing is radishes in particular, very, very good. They've got a unique phytochemical that actually boosts the uh, enzymes that are related to detoxification. So they have an antioxidant that also helps to fight specifically free radical damage. And they're so easy to just throw into a salad. You can throw it onto you know, like a pasta salad would be really good. Just You can use them on pizza and try different ways. Put them on potatoes even. Um, dill is another thing. Some compounds in dill have been shown to basically protect against the damage of the modern day high fat diet. Dill actually amps up the production of antioxidants. So dill is supposed to really help with the metabolization of fat specifically. Dill extract actually helps the body's ability to uh, help with the damage. And supposedly if you take dill every single day, your triglyceride levels will drop. So if that's an issue for you, then you might want to, you know, think about having some dill. Again, dill is good in... You know, you could do a potato salad, any kind of chickpea salad on top of a salad. So, so, so good. Or I'm sure they have it in supplement form, but I would do the most whole food type of supplement form that you can find. So another thing, you know, is to do your cleansing and do your detox, but don't overdo it. I don't really recommend juice cleanses for any extended period of time, more than like, you know, a portion of the day or maybe even one or two days. Um, I just really feel like you need that fiber to help clean out the system, help carry the toxins away. The fiber actually does that. It binds to the toxins that come out. Let's say you do a fast and you are releasing, your body is releasing these um, toxic compounds that, you know, were stuck up in your cells, but then what do they do? They just, if they don't have any fiber to escort them out of the system, then they'll just basically get reabsorbed into your system. And that's where a lot of the feeling really bad on a fast or a cleanse comes from is because you're actually being reintroduced to toxins that were already in your system. So if you're doing any sort of a cleanse, I really recommend a raw till four day if that's not normal for you, or just fruit all day, smoothies all day, so you can get that fiber in there as well. But of course, you know, lemons are really good. Lemons in particular, you know, really, really help our body's ability to flush out different toxins. So a lot of times you can reduce headaches, brain fog, things like that by just adding some lemon to your water or whatever. But the one thing I would caution is to not sip it all day as it can wear at the enamel. So, so really just overall, you know, if you want to detox your body, a long-term health plan is better than any kind of fad diet or cleanse. And it's, you know, incorporating lots of different not just high carb, but lots of different vegetables and fruits and whole grains and everything in your diet. A good variety of these is always going to support your systems to be able to give you the best level of nutrients. Um, it's kind of like leave your body alone. Don't give it so many supplements. Um, you don't need a lot of supplements if you're eating a good variety, wide variety, again, of whole food plant-based and maybe a little bit of, you know, 
slightly refined foods like rice and pasta and tortillas and bread. Uh, the real key is to keep the fats low, keep your sodium relatively low, but mainly just, you know, worry about those, especially oil and added fats in com combination with all the processed foods and the salt and everything can really be really detrimental to any health goals or, you know, your liver <laughs> or your health in general. So hopefully you learned something. Do you like this type of video or not? Let me know. Catch me all over social media, Clariberry, clariberry.com. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay healthy and happy and vegan.